I'll tell you one story that I, I found particularly heartwarming and it was a, a young man that we had coming back from a residential treatment facility whose um, parents were concerned about him coming back to the middle school. The middle school was concerned about him coming back to the middle school. Um, they weren't sure they had the tools um, to deal with the, the, what they perceived had high level of needs that he would have coming back. My son um, was diagnosed with ADHD, severe um, bipolar disorder and Asperger's. Kind of had an issue at first because I wasn't sure that the school was going to be able to provide what he needed. Their support specialist came in, worked with the school, set up a, a monitoring plan for him on Review 360. We weren't sure if he was going to be successful on his home campus or in a different placement that we have. And so um, one of the things that we did is we sat down with his teachers and we talked about some behaviors that he was exhibiting prior to going to RTC. And we decided that we would document the behaviors and use the strategies um, as a team. We were able to look at certain behavior patterns, um, look at all the things that he was doing in school during the day, where he needed support, what was working and what wasn't. I think that you can get involved in negative conversations or of just about behavior and not about what the student is capable of doing, what the student is successful doing, and you kind of hone in on the stuff that inconveniences you or that's a distraction. And so that it's good because you can see that if you've got objectives or if you have classroom roles that yes, they're doing a really good job in these four areas. It may be that they do one behavior a couple of times or maybe a lot, it depends. But they, they're still doing, they're still being successful. When you've got consistency with these kids, um, consistency at school and consistency at home, and the answers are always the same for them. Um, he can't play one person against another, he can't, you know, pull, oh well I didn't do that today, or I don't have homework, or, you know, something to that respect, we know. We already know before he even walks through the door. In all honesty, they were collecting data in with the thought that they would be sending him to a more restrictive setting within the district. Once they got the plan up and going and the, all his teachers were dealing with him in the same way and his parent was receiving that information, uh, they said, um, as his principal said in a, a meeting that I was in, we're not sending him anywhere. He's one of our great students. So they have seen such a turnaround in what it was able to do and help them do with the students. I love the staff at the school. Um, best school we've ever been to. And with Review 360, it just makes it better.